Glenn from Seattle. I started fly fishing about the same time I started walking. There's something about being on rivers and in rivers, like the Elwha, and you, you stand in a river, you feel that resolute force against your leg, and you reach down and pick up a rock and feel the cool water, and that's magical. It's like going to another world, or I guess I should say it's like coming home. The Elwha River is very important to the, the uh, Lower Elwha Clallam tribe. Our reservation is located at the mouth of the river, but it was also the largest river in Clallam territory. The uh, Clallam tribal creation site is on the river, and uh, you know, according to our culture and history, we've been around forever. There are stories from the, our elders that say it appeared you could walk across the river on the backs of the salmon. You're talking three to 400,000 salmon in the Elwha River at one time. And uh, now there's about 5,000 returning. Well, of course, when they dammed up the Elwha nearly 100 years ago, there was no fish passage. And it shut off all migration up and down. The two dams on the Elwha were man-made changes, you might say. That man-made change really benefited a few at the expense of many. And I think now is our, our chance and an opportunity to reverse that and see the full potential of the Elwha River and, and all that it can bring to all the people here, the culture, the ecosystem, the natural way of things. It's a very well protected watershed, so I expect when the dams come out of the Elwha River for there to be almost complete recovery of the runs. When we see the first fish swim upstream and go by with the sites where the two dams are, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the dams on the Elwha coming out. It's, it's been a long time in the running. You know, it wants to run freely. It, that's its mission in life. Come now, follow your heart, young American soul.